What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week two of season four of the GBA. The San Francisco Giantes are going up against Mega Mogwai and the Real Maril. Uh, I am really excited for this battle. I think it's going to be a, a very strong battle. Miguel is one of the top, <laughs> probably the top player in the league, in my, in, in my opinion. He's a very strong battler. He has a very good team. He's got a few Pokemon that are huge threats to me, and... Uh, you know, I just, I can't help, I can't help it. I'm so, I'm pumped. I'm excited. We're getting my battle ready now. Bring the battle box. Please wait until preparations are complete. Oh, let's see what he's got, guys. Let's see what he's got. He's bringing Victini, Mega Low Punny, Hydreigon, Tentacruel, Chestnut, and Hippowdon. So, in my video, I actually made a prediction towards, in my locker room video, that he would be bringing these three. He's going for a hazard stack. Uh, he wants Stealth Rocks, he wants Spikes, he wants Toxic Spikes. So, it's probably not safe for me to lead with Pete. Given all that, um, shoot. Well then, who do I lead with? Um, I think... Because I can't lead with... I can't set up Toxic Spikes until Tentacruel is gone. In fact, setting up in general is going to be difficult until Tentacruel is gone. So I need to bait out Tentacruel somehow. Uh, he'll probably lead with Hippowdon to counter my weather with his weather. And I think the best way for me to counter his Hippowdon might be to lead with Mega Swampert, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to lead with Swampert. God, but I really can't do that. You know what, I'll see I'll see something bad coming if I see something coming. I gotta leave with Swampert. I can potentially get up rocks. I can get my Mega off really early so that I can switch in on and react to the rain accordingly. Here we go, guys. Mogwai is bringing the hazards. He's got a hazard stacking defensively strong core. He's got Victini there who's potentially going to sweep. Uh, I'm predicting one choice Scarfer. I think it's probably going to be Hydreigon. Uncle Buck leads. Do we see the Hippowdon lead? Konichiwa. No, he's going to lead with Victini. Okay. Okay. He's got Grass Knot. I have to predict the Grass Knot. I have to. And how much did his Grass Knot do to... Polytoad. I don't fully remember, guys. Um, I know that Bolt Strike is the strongest hitting move he's got against me. Um, I think... Shoot. I can't stay in. I gotta scout for that Grass Knot. It has to happen. I gotta set up... I'm gonna switch into Dollar Bills. And uh, that way, if it's a V creep, he's not going to go for an electric type attack. There's no way he'll do that. He might go for a grass knot. I can eat that up. I can set up the rain. If it's a V create, I'll eat that up. Well, I'm not eating it up that well, but it, this is my scouting turn. I need to know what he's going to do. He's going to lead with U turn just to see what's going on. And now he gets to bring in Hippowdon for free. Shoot. That amount of damage, this is going to be important to check. Uh,. We're going to learn his set right now. I think he's banded. We didn't see him take any damage from that. Politoed, you're specially defensive. I don't think I have any investment at all on the physically defensive side. Um, are you... Let's go with Jolly. U-turn. Yeah, let's see. Uh, a Jolly... No power item U-turn would be 21 to 25 percent if he's fully invested in attack. I don't think he did that much to me. So he might be special. He still hasn't revealed much. Um, so we know Victini and we know it has U-turn. Um, I'm taking my little notes over here, guys. I got my notepad on the side here. And you know what I'm noticing like in my video over here down in the corner? 
doesn't my room look so clean, guys? Like, my table is a mess. Like, I, I'm not gonna move the camera, but like over here, I got some Jolly Beans, some Jolly Bee spaghetti, just kind of sitting there. That bowl is filthy. Uh, he's gonna send out Pan. That's gonna be his Mega Low Bunny. Now, uh, here's the thing. I have Protect, but I don't want him to set up a sub. I don't want Pan to set up a sub. And my special defensive guy takes a lot of damage from a high jump kick. I'm going to go for the Protect anyway. This is what it's here for. Please don't set up a substitute. Please don't set up a substitute. Please don't set up a substitute. Mogwai, do not do it. Do not set up a substitute. Don't set up a substitute, Mogwai. Fake out. Okay. <sighs> now, I can't lose dollar bills because I need the rain. I could switch into Pete, and but there's no point in me starting to set up these these hazards until Tentacruel is gone. There's just no point at all. But Pete can Pete is uh. Fully defense and health invested. So Pete can potentially take an attack. Oh, this is bad. He's not... He might go for high jump kick now. More than likely he'll go for return or something. Proto can take one of those. Not really. And then what? Hit with a bullet punch? I mean, I kind of need Scizor. Uh, two chains can come in, uh, guaranteed to outspeed with the speed investment and the scarf that I've got. You can take a high jump kick pretty well and can, uh, I don't think one hit KO, but do a good amount with Psychic. So let's do that. Let's bring in two chains and see what he's going to go for here. Um, I don't think it's going to be the high jump kick. It's probably going to be the return. He does go for the high jump kick. Okay, so he brought high jump kick. I'm going to resist that. That does a decent amount of damage, but we know that he has... We know he has a Hydreigon waiting in the wings. Um, so I could go for Psychic here. The problem is that if I go for Psychic and he switches, I got nothing. But if I don't go for Psychic and go for a U-turn, then someone's taking a massive amount of damage from from Pan's next attack. Do I have a safe switch in? Scizor can go for an aerial. Scizor can counterattack by going for aerial ace. See, this is why it's tough, guys, because if I don't make the safe play here, if I overpredict, and think he's going into... If I overpredict right now, and I think he's going into Hydreigon, and I go for the U-turn, then and I outspeed him and go for U-turn, then someone's going to have to come in and take an attack, and that someone's probably going to have to be, I don't know, Scallopede? I don't know who else could do it. But that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I gotta go for a U-turn here. He withdrew. Okay, good. He made the safe play. He's gonna bring in Hydreigon right now. Hail Hydra. He's gonna get hit with the U-turn. And he doesn't know I'm scarfed yet. That does a good amount of damage. I'm pretty happy with that amount of damage. And now what I can do is bring in Mega Swampert. Shoot, I'm not Mega Evolved yet. Oh. Hydreigon, I know, cannot learn any Grass-type attacks except Hidden Power Grass, which cannot one-shot me. He can hit me at the hardest with Draco Meteor. That hits harder than Hidden Power Grass. And at this point, I can kill him with an Ice Punch. So this is going to be my opportunity to bring in Uncle Buck in the rain, get my Mega Evolution off, and hit this guy. Hit him with something. 
Now, he's got a Victini as a potential switch in. He's got Chestnut, who is a potential switch in. Ice Punch is my best move regardless, even if that Chestnut does come in right now. Yeah. Uh, gonna Mega Evolve and go for that Ice Punch. Gotta play it safe, guys. It's too early in the game to be making these giant risky plays. If he stays in with Hydra and I take it out... Actually, you know what? Yeah, he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna flat out withdraw. He's not gonna opt to go for the uh, Kenny. That's gonna be the Tentacruel. Alright, okay. So this is not bad actually. I go for the ice punch here. He's gonna eat that up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna outspeed him now, and I'm probably gonna be able to kill him. Well, let's do some let's do some math here. How much damage is he gonna take from this? Some, not a lot. He's rain dish. Okay, here's what I'm gonna calc right now. Rain dish, black sludge. Good to know. Um, Mega swampert. Versus a fully defensive, physically defensive Tentacruel. I want you 255. Oh my god, what am I doing? I want you 252, 252 bold. Earthquake is a guaranteed one hit KO. So, uh, I mean, what's he trying to do here? He could be double switching. Who would he be double switching into? Did he want to try and get in? I'm going for Earthquake. Uh, again, I'm not over predicting. He could double switch right now. And this could be his move to try and get in Chestnut. Yeah, so he's bringing in Chestnut right now on a Keylam, the Chestnut. Yep. So I couldn't risk that by going for another Ice Punch. I had to go for the EQ here. I know he's going to eat it up, uh, but we're going to kind of see his set a little bit. Physically defensive. We see leftovers. Um, he's going to start going for spikes now. My options are... Scizor can come in. And I can start going for aerial aces. Um... Yeah. He could opt to go outright for the grass type attack here. It No matter what, it's not worth me staying in. An ice punch won't do enough. He might do spiky shield. Uh, he might go for spikes and then it doesn't matter that I got one ice attack off. Uh, I gotta get scissor in now. I can get a defog off. I can get an, a, an aerial ace off if I want to. We're gonna kind of see what he does here. I predict spikes. Uh, yeah, there's Spikes. So Scizor came in. I could go for the Defog right now if I wanted to. I could go for the Aerial Ace uh, and get some damage on him. Thing is, he can run Synthesis. This guy can be a problem for sure. He's definitely going to want to take me out. Here's why I'm going for Aerial Ace right now. Because uh, he might be... No, I should go for Defog right now. No, I'm going to go for Aerial Ace right now. If he opts for the Hidden Power Fire, he could be prepared for this exact situation. He is going to withdraw, scouting for that Aerial Ace. He's going to send in Moto Moto, who's probably going to go for a Fire Fang right now. He now sees the Aerial Ace. That does some damage, but not a lot. Um, if he's going to go for the Fire Fang, he's Fire Fang or Stealth Rocks, whether or not he thinks I'm going to switch out. Um, it's pretty obvious that Hippowdon has Fire Fang. So, Politoed, Politoed can get rid of this weather set up for me again, and gives me a good opportunity to switch back into Mega Swampert afterwards. I could actually switch into Mega Swampert now. I could switch into Mega Swampert right now, actually. Um, but 
Do I do that, though? Do I switch into Swampert? No, because without the rain... Without the rain, there's no point. Uh, I'm gonna go... I could go for a U-turn here, but it's really not gonna hit him for that much. And it shows him that I'm not banded. And he won't know what I am. But he'll know I'm not banded. So, I think... But he probably already knows I'm not banded based on the damage that did. Let's just go for a U-turn here. See what he does. That actually does pretty good damage. Um, that works out pretty well for me. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go into Dollar Bills on the... What I predict is... No, I should probably just go for a Scald here. Or an Ice Beam. Drizzle's going to change that. I take a little bit of damage from Spikes. Is it Fire Fang or Stealth Rocks? It is Stealth Rocks. Could have gone for the Defog there, but there's no point because I'd still have the Stealth Rocks on the field after that. He's Motomoto's done what, he's, what he needs to do. He's going to switch out. Who is he going into? It could be Chestnut, and I could run... I could go for a potential burn on him with a Scald. Um... So we know Hippowdon has Stealth Rock. We know that he has a Tentacruel. Tentacruel is a good switch in against me. We know that that's true. Um, he's not staying in. So who is he switching into though? Who are you switching into? to take a predicted Scald. It's probably Tentacruel, and he really wants to get up those hazards. I know he wants those hazards up. I need to get him down. I desperately need to get them down. If he's switching into Tentacruel, I could switch into... I'm going to switch into Proto here. He might just go for an Earthquake to try and take me out. That would be a good move on his part. But I think he's switching to Tentacruel. Show me Tentacruel. There's Kenny. He's going to get some health back with Rain Dish. Um... I predict he's going to go for a Scald here, but he might go for Toxic Spikes. I'm going to go for Defog. Kenny might actually outspeed me, which would be great if he opts to go for the... He is going to go for the Scald. Hopefully no Burn. That would be uh, really bad if he got it. He does not get the Burn. I get the Defog off. We see that he's faster, so I'm not going to go for a U-turn here. Um... If he's going to go for Toxic Spikes now, then I need to switch in. I need to switch in someone that can force this Kenny out. So one thing I want to think about is switching into Uncle Buck. I can scare him out with an Earthquake. If he opts to go straight into Chestnut, then I can immediately switch into Pete after that. Because Pete can take a Grass type attack. And then I can start setting up hazards of my own if I want to. So that's my next two turns probably in like a like a shell that has some nuts in it or something like that. So let's go into Uncle Buck now. We got the rain up. He's whittling. He's got he's got me on the ropes a little bit. Um, I need to start hitting some of these some of his mon a little bit harder. Uh, he's still thinking, he's trying to decide whether to go for a Scald. Shoot, you know what I, I said a long time ago, don't switch in Swampert against Kenny. I shouldn't have done this. He's trying to decide whether, he is going to withdraw. So he's going to withdraw, straight into Chestnut? No, into Mega Low Punny. Whom I outspeed. And don't quite one hit KO with Uncle Buck. He's going to go for the fake out here. 
just to get some chip damage on Uncle Buck. Okay, well, yeah, you know what? Let's just... Let's just do what we came here to do. Let's go for... He's going to fake out. It doesn't really matter what I go for here. But, um... Waterfall is my highest damage move. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to go for Waterfall here. He's going to go for the fake out. I'll take a good amount of damage from that, but I'm pretty bulky, so it's okay. He's going to switch out here. There's no way he's leaving Pan in. He knows I'm faster. Uh, now is a good time to find out what set you are. Mega Swampert. Um, I have 156 investment in HP. This is a Mega Lopunny who did a fake out against me. And he did 40 damage to me. That's an interesting amount of damage. He might be somewhat defensively invested. Because even a Jolly 252 attack should have done more damage than that did. Um, let's. We're wasting a bit of time here, kind of trying to figure out the why. But he's going to switch, I'm pretty sure. He's at full HP. Unfortunately, I don't one-hit KO this guy. And he could hit me really hard if he wants to. But I can't just keep playing the safe plays. Eventually, i got to make a prediction. So I'm going to actually go for a Stealth Rocks here. On the predicted switch out of Pan. There's Pan. Switching out, probably going into Key Lamb. That's his, uh, his chestnut again. And there's the Stealth Rock. Grass type attack could be coming my way right now. Uh, spikes could be coming my way right now. Gujra's still at full health. Um, I could bring in the Gudra and start setting up Acid Armors. Could I do that against Keylamp? Keylamp could hit me really hard though, even on Gudra before I start getting those set up. Keylamp can hit me pretty hard. Um, I think a Wood Hammer... A Wood Hammer would hit me really hard. And I apologize again for the calcs, but I'm gonna do it... I'm gonna do another one here because I wanna know how much a Gudra with lefties takes from a chestnut and uninvest you know it's quite a lot uh, he's gonna go for the grass he's gonna go for the wood hammer uh, I'm not sap sipper and hydration this is anything but it's quite better uh, it's gonna hit me for 25% I'm okay with that Gudra you're coming in buddy He might go for spikes again, just to really force this scissor to die, switching in. But Gudra's in now. He is going to go for spikes. Well, now's my chance then. Um, he's, I'm assuming, doesn't have anything for me. If he's running spikes, I assume he's also running synthesis. I'm going to go for the acid armor here. He's probably going to switch into pan. Maybe tentacruel. Kenny, the Tentacruel, he wants to get rid of those uh, those rocks. He's going to take nothing from that. He's going to see the Acid Armor here. So, um, the rain stopped. How much damage do I do to Tentacruel? Because I didn't end up bringing Thunder. He could pack the Ice Beam and hit me for something. But... I don't know how much I'm going to hit him for with a Dragon Pulse. But maybe it's not the best time for me to set up a Rain Dance. I've got one Acid Armor up. He might try and get some uh, Toxic Spikes up, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. His Special Attacker is Hydreigon. 
Uh, Victini potentially a special attacker. I could get up another acid armor right now, but I'm not sure that that's the right move for me. It might be better for me to get the rain up again. Because I'm not sure how much damage Kenny's going to do to me. He might want to set up those spikes. Uh, let's get Dragon Pulse. I don't want to set up the rain immediately. I think he's really thinking now. He sees that I'm the acid armor set. He's not sure how he's going to really take out Gudra. Um, I've kind of put him in a little bit of a, a hustle position. If he predicts the Thunderbolt, which is a likely move for Gudra to carry. If he predicts the Thunderbolt, a good switch for him is Hydreigon. And he might think, oh, I can... You know, he knows I'm not Assault Vest right now. So actually, the way to kill this Gudra is not physical attacks, unlike what you're normally used to. It is special attacks. So a Hydreigon switch in would not be a bad idea. Hydreigon, uh, he's going to go for Rapid Spin. Okay, that's okay. That's going to do, like, literally no damage to me. Dragon Pulse is probably not going to do a lot to him either, but I need this guy gone. Like, I need to put damage on him. That's going to do something. You know, not nothing. It's probably a four-hit KO, it looks like. But he's got nothing for me. He can. He's probably going to start setting up his Toxic Spikes, is my prediction. I just got to keep Dragon Pulsing away, though. Uh, I predict one layer of Toxic Spikes right now from him. Mirror Coat. He's going to reflect that back to me. That's a good move. But it's not going to kill me, and I can set up the Rain Dance now rather than go for it again, as he probably will go for Toxic Spikes right now, I think. But, yeah, I need the Rain up. I need that. Uh, that was a good move on Kenny's part, and I'm going to give him more recovery by doing this, but now we're in a safe situation for Gudra. Um, I... I need to play this smart. I need to not let myself go down to anything stupid here. I gotta play this right. Miracote was a good play on his part. I didn't predict that um, when I did my calcs. See, now he's gonna be thinking that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go for it again. So he's, this is why, I th this is why I think this turn, he thinks he knows what I'm gonna do next and it's probably not attack. We just had a, oh my god, we just had an interrupt stream. Okay, guys, Mega Mogwai and I are going to try and figure out how best to do this. It might just be to remove, redo every single move in the exact same way we did before. I'm not sure. We will be right back. Okay, we are back. We've recreated every single turn, turn by turn. Uh, not a whole lot changed. Uh, I did, I got a max roll with the Dragon Pulse on the Kenny there that he reflected on me, so I ended up taking about 10 more damage, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I'm going for the rain here. Uh, I'm going to go for Rain Rest, and the question is whether or not he predicts that, because he didn't see that happen last turn, uh, because we disconnected before he would have had a chance. But if I go for Rain, if he goes for two Ice Beams, it's possible he'll kill me. No, he's going to withdraw. Who's he going into? Pan. Going to go for the Fake Out. How much damage can Pan do to me, since I have two boosts set up? Uh, Mega Lopunny against my plus two defense Gudra. High jump kick is 45% at the most. After a fake out though, fake out is 14%. You might do about 50. Let's get that rest off. Let's get the rest off. Um, 101 to 76. 101 to 76. Um, so that means he did uh, 25 damage to me with Fake Out. Uh, my phone is buzzing right now. I guess I should find out who's calling. It's my sister. She can wait because important things are afoot, guys. A fake out that did 25 damage. I don't think he's fully invested offensively. I don't think so. But the high jump kick can do at most 91. There's a chance it'll kill. 
man, that mirror coat, redoing that mirror coat and having it uh, deal more damage to me is super unfortunate. Uh, there's not, there's four rolls that result in me dying and what looks to be 12 that result in me living. I'm gonna go for the rest here. He's gonna go for the high jump kick, he's gonna land it. Come on, Gudra. That stupid high roll, I'm gonna tell him, I'm so upset. That's unfortunate. Gudra's dead. Shoot. Okay, um, let's go into fix it mode. How are we gonna fix this? How are we gonna fix this? I should have lived that. Um, a, an adamant 252 attack uh, against the setup that I had with the EV spread that I ran shouldn't have done more than 91 and I had 88 because of that redoing this and the high roll. I had 10 HP less than I had like, the turn before that. So that's super unfortunate. I could have switched into two chains there, but I honestly thought I was going to live that. Two boosts, uh, or just a plus two in defense. That's stupid. I should have lived, I should have had full health and been awake, and this would have been such a great circumstance, but whatever. Two chains is going to come in here. Now the thing to remember about how Mogwai is playing this game is... Uh, he wants to chip everything. He's not going for these big hits. But he might think he can kill two chains here with a return. And I might think I can kill him with a psychic. So I'm actually going to go for the psychic. I could go for the U-turn, but I'm going to go for the psychic here. Because last time I went for the U-turn, and if he switches into Hydreigon, the thing is, I'm on damage control now. Uh, Shady said in his last video, don't play on tilt. No, he is going to switch. That's unfortunate. Uh, who's he going into? Kenny! Kenny the Tentacruel. Okay, okay. That was a misplay on his part. He didn't think I was going to go for the Psychic, and I did, and Kenny is gone. That means no Rapid Spinner. That means Stealth Rock time. That means Toxic Spikes time. Okay. Hydreigon is coming in. I think I don't need this anymore. I think I don't need Mesprit anymore. No, I need him for Chestnut. Shoot! Okay, who don't I need? Pete is my Toxic Spiker. I can't lose Pete. Obviously, I can't lose Uncle Buck. I could maybe go to lose Proto right now, but that means if his hazards go, I'm done for. I can't lose Dollar Bills because I need the rain now that Gudra's dead. Gujo would have been such a great switch in right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Couple of things I could do here, because if Proto... If he goes for... It depends what move he's going to go for here. Because I could... Yeah, I'm going to switch into Proto. I think Proto is my least important person. God, I'm so glad. Oh, man. I'm so happy this turnaround. I'm so happy with this. That was a very ballsy switch for him. I don't think he thought I was going to uh, go for that. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. That'll take out Proto. And we're going to see whether or not he's Life Orbed. Is he Life Orbed? Life Orbed. He is Life Orbed. Okay. Life Orb, Hydra. Um, Scolipede. How much... Will he do to you, Scully? Oh my god, I didn't do that calc. Uh, let's see. Hydreigon. Life Orb. Versus. Scolipede. Who is 252 that. 252 that. Impish. Hydreigon. Oh, a Draco Meteor will kill me. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, so here's the misplay I made. Uh, Focus Sash is gone now. I needed to get rid of those spikes first with Proto before I went for this. So Pete can't come in yet. I've got to... Uh... Oh, 
Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into two chains. And I go for the choice. I know I outspeed because we saw that he's life orbed. I'm going to go for the U-turn here. If he opts to go for an attack and stay in. This is really obvious what I'm doing here. But this is the kind of whittling that I need to do for Hydra. I'm curious as to whether or not he has Roost on it. He might. And that would be a good play for him right now to go for the Roost. But I'm going to go for the U-turn here. I'm going to outspeed him and go for the U-turn. At this point, I think he probably knows I'm Scarfed. Because of the way I switched out after that Psychic. And the fact that I came back in after. Switching out on the Psychic isn't a surefire sign that I'm Scarfed. But if I know Miguel, he's definitely... He's assessing every opportunity, every option here. And he would have seen... Like, hmm, he switched out after using Psychic. That's a little weird. And then the fact that I come back in now, he's confident that I'm Scarfed. So... Uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn here. It's going to do some damage to the Hail Hydra, maybe 25%. And that's going to put him in the yellow. And after one more attack from him, I think what I'm going to do here is switch into... Whew, what do I do? At this point, I'm going to switch into... He is going to withdraw. He's going to flat out withdraw. Okay, who's he going into? Konichiwa. He's going to eat up that U-turn just fine, just fine. Shoot, without that... Oh, man. It sucks that there's a layer of spikes on the field. Uh, I could go into Dollar Bills. Because I need the rain. I need it. Dollar Bills, unfortunately, can't really take anything from this guy. Um... Because it would be too ballsy of me to... Well, hold on. Let's assess win conditions right now. If I go down, that means I have eight turns left to... No, less than that if he opts to go for the... Uh... So we don't know what Konichiwa is right now. Um, he could be scarfed. He likely is Scarf. I don't predict he did. He brought came to this fight without a Scarf Pokemon. Um, so I think he's. I think he's Scarfed. I think he's fully invested in attack. And I think right now in the rain, he's got either a lightning, an electric attack, or a grass type attack. He might have both. If he goes for a grass type attack, Scallopede can switch in just fine. And if I get the speed boost, then I can next turn. I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to make a pretty aggressive play here. So uh, I will. I think I can take an, uh, an electric or a grass type attack here. And the rain is up. And Pete's going to come in. And we're going to see whether or not what he goes for here. Bolt strike. He's physical. Good to know. I'm impish. What 252 HP? How well do I take this? Relatively. Relatively well. Um. Obviously, he has a fire type attack he could go for right now. Um, if he's scarfed, he can't go for it. Uh, I'm gonna go for toxic spikes. We're gonna see what he's got. He does go for the V create. He does outspeed, so he's not scarfed. We know that, and he is gonna kill with that. So, no Toxic Spikes for me, unfortunately. Uh, but there's the Speed Fall, there's the Defense Fall, there's the Special Defense Fall. And what can I do here? So now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't invest in Speed, I guess, because I should have outsped him. I could have outsped him. I mean, I'm, I'm a faster Pokemon than he is, but I went for Defensive Investment. Um... That's okay. I mean, Pete was not as important. Uh, not as important to me. We saw Bolt Strike, U-Turn, V-Create. It's probably Grass Knot is the last one. I still think it's Grass Knot. Rain is up. His speed is down. So he's switching out. If I bring in Swampert, he's switching into Chestnut. So 
So what could I do with that? Um, hmm. If I go into Dollar Bills, I could start shooting off Scalds. He's going to switch into Chestnut. And then what do I have for that? I just let Dollar Bills go down? No, I can't do that. Two Chains really doesn't have anything for Konichiwa at all. Like nothing. That's got to be Uncle Buck. I got to force him out right now. I have to scare him out with Uncle Buck. Uh, unfortunately, in the assessment I've done of this now, I just lost. Which is not... It's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, I can take someone out with me on the way down. I really do think Chestnut's coming in here. I could go for the Waterfall just to, like, try and get that kill on... On Kunichiwa, if he opts to stay in. He's really not going to, though. There's no way he stays in right now. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's I got. I still have to play safe and smart. Uh, he is going to withdraw. He's going to go into Chestnut. Key Lamb, the Chestnut. At this point, he doesn't really need spikes. So the question is damage control. Do I want to get... He's not going to go for spikes, he's going to go for a wood hammer. Will a wood hammer kill... Will it kill Mesprit? I think it might. I think it might kill Mesprit. Let's see. It's close. It's close. It does 43 to 51%. Um, he, yeah, he's straight up just not going to go for... Yeah, he's, he's, there's no way he's going for spikes here. He's going for wood hammer. Seed Bomb doesn't have Wood Hammer, so he's going to do even less damage. He got a crit. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I mean, if he had Wood Hammer, that would have killed me. So here's actually what I'm thinking. I'm going to go for Ice Beam. Because, I mean, he could switch into Victini. That actually would be a great play on his part. If he switches into Victini, fucking pro. Actually, you know what? I should go for Trick. No, because if I trick, he's probably switching. It's too late for me to get a trick off on anything. Um, anything significant. So let's go for the Ice Beam here, in case he switches into the Hydreigon. Now he's going to go for Spiky Shield to see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to... hes I'm locking myself into Ice Beam here against him. He's going to get a little more recovery. Uh, he'll probably switch into Konichiwa here. Problem is, I, I'm kind it's kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't, though. Because if I don't kill Key Lamb, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Like, Swampert needs to be in the rain, and he needs to have Key Lamb dead. Otherwise, I can't kill his team. Unfortunately, that's the Keelam is literally the only Pokemon that can stop um, stop me from just destroying his team in the rain, but I just can't seem to uh, can't seem to get him down. So, what do I do here then? Are you switching to Konichiwa? I could go into Dollar Bills, he'll Bolt Strike, I'll die, and then I'll be in the exact same situation I'm in right now with two chains in. Or I could bring in Uncle Buck with the rain, he'll switch into Key Lamb, and then I'll go down after getting one Ice Punch off. So, his switch into... Uh, he's gonna switch into Konichiwa here. It's relatively obvious. So wait, well then why don't I just switch into Uncle Buck? Well, I don't think I'll kill him with an Ice Beam even, will I? If I switch into Uncle Buck on a seed... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make a big play here. Because I'm not... I'm not... I still don't think I... I still think there's a chance I can win. I think he's switching to... I don't think he's gonna stay in and take an Ice Beam. I think he's gonna switch out. To Konichiwa. Yes, come on. Show me Konichiwa. Konichiwa! Yes! Okay.
Uh, so he's Expert Belt. Shoot, that's what he is. Expert Belt Konnichiwa. Because he can just switch in Chestnut for days, right? I mean, this is a 50-50 at this point. He, uh, if I go for Ice Punch, that's the most damage I could possibly do to Chestnut. Um, I don't think... I actually think... Two chains. No, two chains can live another switch in. But uh, I mean, what's the point? I switch into two chains now. On on the chestnut coming in, and then I'll go for spiky shield, seeing what I'm going for, and it, oh, I could trick him at that point. Okay, switch to Mesprit. As he switches to Chestnut, if I think he's switching to Chestnut. Trick the Scarf onto Chestnut. Uh, then he's just gonna go for He's just gonna go for Woodhammer and it doesn't matter. That would have worked out earlier. I I could have predicted that a little better. I probably should have tricked rather than gone for Ice Beam. But you know what? Here I just gotta I gotta go for ice punch. No, he stays in. Shoot. Freeze. No. Grass knot, he does have it. Damn it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I should have I should have gone for the waterfall there. I should have kept going for waterfall every time. Well, that's too bad. It's going to be a 5-0 loss. Oh, man. I rushed that last play. After I clicked it, I thought I should have gone for Waterfall. Man. Man. Could have been a 4-0. Shoot. Why did I do that? I don't even know why I did that. I'm trolling you. I'm trolling you, Mogwai. <laughs> There's the Bolt Strike. It doesn't matter. He's going to outspeed. He's going to kill me, unfortunately. So let's just... Uh... There's the bolt strike again. Shoot. Ah, oh, man. I should have gone for the waterfall. Because I had a, a follow-up play in case he did switch in. I had the follow-up. I had the follow-up. I had a play next if I didn't do that. I should have gone for waterfall then. I should have gone for the waterfall. Um... Gotta go for freezes and the fact that the ice beam is a pretty yeah. Gotta go for freeze hacks. Freeze hacks. Freeze hacks. Freeze hacks. Freeze hacks. Freeze hacks. Boo. <laughs> All right, good game, Miguel. That was a that was a tough fight. Uh, I thought for a second I had it. A couple of things didn't really go my way there. The maximum possible damage his high jump kick could have done had to have gone through there um, against my Gudra. Uh, like I said, 4 out of 12 rolls had him killing me at that life pool. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest, because of that, the roll changes on the mirror coat. I should have lived that. Gudra should have stayed alive. That could have changed the game a lot, to be perfectly honest. Uh, really, really disappointed about that. Not disappointed in my performance. I think I made the safe plays. I think there were a few times that I, I should have predicted differently. But I don't think any of the predictions I made would have changed the outcome of the game. Relatively hacks-free. Uh, when trying to remake the scenario again, actually, he ended up getting a crit on the Scald, which is kind of funny. But didn't get a burn any of the times. I mean... Say what you will, I think I had a really tough first two games. I predict we're going to be able to turn this around in the future. Yeah, man, should have gone for the waterfall at the end there. Let's see, let's play this through. I gone for the waterfall, Konichiwa goes down. Uh, he brings in... Yeah, he just can't do it. After that, after Konichiwa goes down, he brings in Chestnut. I switch into... The, wa the rain would have stopped, so I would have switched into Polycode for one last rain. He would have killed me with Grass Knot. I switch into Mesprit. 
Go for Psychic as he switches to Hydrate. No, because I couldn't go for, and that's, I would have gone for Ice Beam. With Konichiwa gone, would have gone to Ice Beam. He could have gone into Pan, Fake Out to kill me. I come in, uh, and then he could switch. He would have stayed in, let Pan go down. I could have made it a 3-0 if I'd gone for the Waterfall there. But it was either 3 or 5. I mean, I should have gone for the Waterfall. That was a misplay on my part, but uh, I could not have beaten him. He is now talking to me on Skype. He said, I'm adamant in low punny. I know, I calculated that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have a nice little post-game chat with him. Chat with my friend there. This was a good game. Uh, I really appreciated... Uh, being being able to go up against my friends in the GBA like this. It's a lot of fun guys. Thanks so much for watching If you enjoyed this video, please click that subscribe and that like button. That would be great My channel's still growing. I promise I'm gonna start winning some soon guys I had a really rocky start to the season because I went up against uh, two of the Two of the strongest teams in the league, but I, I I predict that thing good things are coming my way Look out for week three locker room coming up in the next couple of days. My name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time